Hi guys, I just wanted to uh, share this really lots of fun project with you. It is a uh, bed detector and a uh, ultrasound recorder. It works very nice. This whole project uh, kind of started out with some ideas from uh, from uh, Frank, a uh, German uh, ham radio operator by the call sign of Delta Delta 4 Whiskey Hotel. And this uh, was picked up, uh, I think, like uh, early this year, 2018, by uh, Carter Betterfoot, some Dutch guy, which uh, made some very nice alterations in the software. And I uh, recently developed this uh, printed circuit board, so it's a bit easier to uh, to get all the parts uh, together. Um, it uses a uh, teensy uh, microcontroller. Uh, which is here on the uh, circuit board to be uh, mounted a uh, TNT audio board and uh, a uh, display which can be uh, put on the board as well uh, two rotary encoders and two push buttons so these two push buttons, the left one is not working but this is the other push button the rotary encoders also have a push function um, alright, let's look at the box here this is the one I used it's just wide enough to hold the circuit board and it's quite important because on this side you can uh, see uh, the uh, micro USB connector uh, here in, on my thumb you can see four holes there are some LEDs behind it from the power bank that I'm using a uh, jack uh, connector for the, uh, for the, for the headphones uh, on this side we uh, have the, uh, the microphone uh, which I uh, well mounted with a, um, a small threaded rod screwed in the housing so I could use a, um, uh, a rubber gasket and uh, be able to get a good seal with uh, the microphone so this end is the uh, micro SD card so this is why I use this narrow housing and it makes a nice uh, small uh, compact uh, device okay here was the power button I'm gonna switch it on right now so <clears throat> here we have the, the display information okay um, a bit of information how it works you can see here in the display it says uh, FD for frequency division so the uh, ultrasound it hears is divided by uh, 10 I believe uh, and comes out of the uh, microphone jack here on the side you can also see that it's picking up some uh, some noise via the microphone you can see here on the display a uh, visual representation of the sound so <clears throat> if you are listening to something you can also see that on the uh, on the display um, alright I already explained we have frequency division here but if I press this button we are uh, going to change to auto heterodyne so it will mix like a radio receiver mix the frequency down to something we can uh, can hear uh, the next mode is time expansion, auto time expansion, which I think is really, really very nice. Uh, the ultrasound is recorded in a small portion, so a bad call is heard. It will be recorded and it will be played back uh, slowly, so it sounds very nice. Not like the um, time division or the uh, heterodyne uh, conversion which gives us a very short call this is just a longer call and sounds very nice okay we have a next mode which is pass which will just pass through the audio uh, without doing anything to it so we will already can all only hear the uh, the lower frequencies which we can normally hear if you press again we have the the, the heterogene uh, conversion again but this time it's not out so we have to set the frequency that is where uh, these buttons come in, it's already set on frequency you can see on the top of the screen the frequency is changing and the yellow button is also moving from side to side um, okay so that's what the uh, button is doing this one is volume, you can see the volume V57, 8, 61, 63 is changing we can change the function of the, these uh, knobs by pressing down on it and rotating the button again we can change to gain we can see the gain also in the top of the screen if I turn this up you can see we hear 
a whole lot of signal so we do not need to, to have the gain that high at this moment I press the button again and we change frequency you can see both buttons can have similar functions display okay this one is nice if we oh, change the display we can see the um, audio spectrum you can see me talking on the display uh, if I turn it again, we kind of have the spectrogram display, the waterfall again, but this time it does not show anything. This was probably going to be changed a little bit in the, um, in the, in the software, but this is made to not have an updating display. So updating of a display can normally make some noise if you have a sensitive microphone circuits. So that is why we do not have a... Um, an updating display so if you use this one again we can see if I make some noise we have the very nice spectrogram display again um, okay that were the display modes uh, the noise is not really doing anything at the moment sample rate the sample rate is important for the recording we need a quick sample rate to record so this is uh, why is it 281 we can change this by pressing a button and now I have to turn the other knob this is the quickest we can get, 352, um, what is it, thousand uh, cycles or something like that. Not quite sure how we call that. So the sample rate has to be quite high to record ultrasound. Okay, next is record. We can record a file. Uh, this is the, uh, the increment number and this is the um, um, sample rate we are using. So this is the file name. So if we put it in a computer, we do know what sample rate it was recorded at. And uh, it also uses a real-time uh, clock so we can see when it was recorded. So that function is very nice. Okay, now it's recording. No ultrasound to see or hear at the moment, but this is the way it should be uh, used for recording. If we turn the button again, we get play. We can choose the file. And we can play back the, the file. <clears throat> so, okay, play D is not used at the moment, and here we are back again at the beginning. So, this is the, um, well, a whole lot of fun device, I think. <laughs> it's really a very nice bat detector. It has a lot of potential, and I believe the software will already also be, uh, be enhanced even more. I'm also working still a little bit on the, uh, on the audio uh, circuit. But it's already a very nice uh, bat detector. So, well, if you're interested, go and look for a Teensy bat detector or find my call sign or send me an email to my call sign at uh, gmail.com and I can give you some more information. And uh, like I explained, I uh, got a few of these uh, circuit boards made. So, if you want to join in, uh, I'm sharing these boards for uh, shipping costs and the material costs. So, uh, just let me know. Okay, that's all folks. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.